afternoon. Happy Thursday. I think it's Thursday. I'm a little early, so I'm going to wait for everybody to kind of jump on. Got some good stuff going on. Very excited. Yes, I am very excited. Sounds like it's about to storm, which we could use. I wouldn't mind a little rain. Um, cool things off a little bit. That'd be kind of nice. Um, I know everybody's having some heat challenges <laughs> uh, here of late. Um, but we're used to hot, hot and humid. I'm in North Carolina. What are you going to do? Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy it. We'll get started in just a second. I got on a little early. Um, if you would, just give me a thumbs up. Let me know you can hear me okay. I never know about this down here, how my connection's going to be, because I'm at the at the smithy so if you could just give me a quick thumbs up say hey i can hear you that'd be great and if you don't mind um chime in from where you're from thank you i appreciate the thumbs up uh i never know where people are watching from i always kind of find it kind of interesting um i know i started doing these uh let's see back during uh covid lockdown because uh you know i was i was kind of missing people <laughs> so uh so it's always kind of interesting to see where everybody is from. So if you get a chance to kind of just let me know where you're uh, where you're watching me from. Um, we're gonna do some camp chair uh, wine glass holders. Kenneth, I appreciate that. Mountain City, welcome, welcome. Um, I came up with this. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, most of the things I figure out, someone else has probably beat me to it several times uh, over. Um, but this was something I came up with probably uh, eight or nine years ago. Um, I, really kind of like it and uh i figured it would be something i hadn't done before uh don't want to bore you guys for doing the same thing over and over again seems like i do the same thing over and over again a lot but you know it, people like what i do right so um hope everybody is doing well and you're uh staying cool and uh maybe you're dry who knows hopefully you're dry or hopefully not you're dry i hopefully will not be dry much longer uh should have some weather coming in uh this evening Heard Thunder Broomer a little while ago uh, into tomorrow, which will be really nice. Um, tired of water in our garden. And cooled off a little bit. All right, so uh, some, so a little bit of housekeeping real quick. Um, if you, you, you like what I do, whether you're watching now or you're watching um, in, in, the, in the future, in the past, wherever, <laughs> um, if you'll just, you know, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, I'd really appreciate it. Um, uh, it doesn't cost you anything. It helps a lot for me. Uh, this is how I uh, feed my family. And this kind of helps me with the old Facebook algorithm kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> and, it, it, and if you really want to kick it up a notch, uh, you could share it. That'd be awesome. Um, who, who knows who needs Ford Bling, right? You know, at least a little, little, little away time from, from life this is a nice way to have a little bit of escape. Um, <clears throat> other ways that you can support me, uh, I do have a, uh, a website now, uh, it happened a couple months ago. I don't even think I really even promoted it much. I'm not the world's best at that. Um, ravenskeepforge.com. Uh, you can join on there. I've got a blog that I do mo monthly. Uh, it, it, it ain't, it ain't in depth. <laughs> you hear me? It ain't in depth. Um, but I do post a few thoughts up there, uh, monthly and, uh, for, if you want to support me financially, there's a good place to do that there. Uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee once a month. Um, nice cup of coffee once a month. Um, and I am going to have my first ever online show and sale. Um, it's going to be on the 18th, which I believe is a Sunday. It's going to be uh, late afternoon, early evening, depending on how you look at things. Um, I've got the post uh, event pinned uh, to the page, so you'll see it there. All right, so all that stuff's out of the way. Let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's get it hot and hit it hard. All right, so here's my thought as I was sitting down. Um, it is hot, so I will probably be wiping down several times as we go through this. So um, eight or so years ago, um, I was uh, sitting in a camp chair, and I was having a glass of mead and noticed that my wine glass wouldn't fit in the cup holder, right? Um, so I had sat it on the ground, and... Of course, it tipped over, right, as glasses do. So 
I was like, you know what? I, I, I can fix this. Let me just figure something out. So I came up with this um, and then later found out that a lot of other people had come up with it too. But anyway, um, so we're going to make wine glass holder that'll sit down and get go down in the ground you can put your wine glass in um or if you don't drink out of a wine glass um you know you can drink beer out of a chalice right <laughs> i like the term chalice who doesn't like to drink out of a chalice right um you know or, or any kind of stemmed glass um that you can just kind of poke in a hole next to your uh camp chair so nothing gets interfered it's right there it's, you know, as you sit down you can just reach your arm down grab it and you don't even, i mean you don't even have to move really right so it, it's a great setup i love it um we're going to be doing quarter inch right quarter inch round stock um i've got these at about 17 inches okay roughly um i usually um uh, today's the first time i've actually done a quarter inch i usually do eighth inch uh spring steel just because they're light and you know they're they're easy but i figured you know hey let's uh let's try something different Okay, so we'll do quarter inch and we'll see about blinging them up a little bit, make them pretty. Useful and decorative. Decorative, That's my motto. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in. Um, if you're not watching live, you're watching in Memorex, um, I will get notified that you commented. And I can circle back to you if you had any questions. So let's do that. And we're going to make sure we've got our protection. Oh, it's getting dark out here. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna get some weather. All right, all right, all right. That's kind of exciting. All right, so I've got these kind of in here. They've been in here for a little while, as you can see, because I've just been kind of running my mouth, which I have a tendency to do. That's why my Facebook lives run forever, because uh, I just I spend too much time talking. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is we're just gonna put a point on the end, because this will be the end sticks in the ground and then that end will be done right then we can flip it around do the other hear my crows well they're not they're not my crows they are crows here and there's other birds too but the crows are they're, they're pretty loud every time i fire up the forward they show up in fact, you know what we'll do? Since these are pretty warm all the way up, we'll just go ahead and work on the business end and we'll we'll do our our stick them in later. Because that'll be quick and easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw these out to a taper because I'm gonna put a little loop on the end. I'm gonna do a couple loops on this, but you'll see what I'm doing. We'll put a little loop on the end just because I I like it to be a little decorative. Here. So as I'm drawing it out, I just want the end to be real thin. So I'm just going to put a little, little dainty loop. So if you're going to have something, and you're going to display it, right? Because you're going, people are going to see it. You want it to be kind of pretty. Can you hear? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear. You hear? I don't know. Every time I fire the Ford, they, they, they wasn't down here until I started beating on it. And then they show they show up every time I'm down here at the Ford Dunning Company. I likes it. Alright, so we're gonna put us a little loop on the end. Maybe Danny wasn't the right word. I don't wanna offend the fellas. But we're gonna put us a little little loop on the end just to kind of give it a little decorative statement. Please tell me y'all can hear that. No, can't hear that. I can hear it. Guess they just showing out for me. Other advantage starting out about 16 17 18 inches I think you can probably do this at any any size through there um, I've done it 
a lot shorter. I don't like doing a much shorter neck because then they just kind of drag the ground a little bit. Um, is you can grab the ends of them. <laughs> so you don't have to use tongs, which makes life a little bit easier. Anybody else here from Parts Unknown? I know Kenneth said he was from Mountain City. Where else y'all from? I always kind of like to know where folks are from. We're watching. We can make this a little conversational. Doesn't have to be a one-way conversation. Meaning that you're just listening. Might as well have, you know, a little back and forth. Yeah, that's a little aggressive. I don't need anything quite that much. Alright, so I got got me a little bit of a point on there. How is that? Is that better? So you just a little bit of a point, drew it down some, and just gave it a little bit of a point. And then we'll put our loop on the end. And we'll do the same thing with this one. I do believe we got a good chance of getting some rain. I would be very happy with that. All right, so we were square. Anytime you move metal, you want to move square first, and then you can round it back up. So if you're round, you got to go square. Well, I don't guess technically you've got to, but sure is a lot easier on the metal. It'll look, the finished product will look a lot better. And I'm about to leak sweat everywhere. Because what happens if you don't is it'll roll over on itself. And it creates these twisted looks. I'm sure there's a technical word. I'm sure twisted look is not, not a technical word, but um, it, it, it shunts, gaps. You'll end up, it'll see, it'll flake, it'll look nasty. Um, it doesn't strengthen the metal. It actually makes it weaker because you're kind of rolling it over on itself, right? So we're going to go, we're going to do it best way, right? As, as we know of today. I'm sure things may change tomorrow, but as of today, Hope everybody's doing well out there. And if you happen to be in the area, um, down in Sanford, next month, uh, because it's now officially July, next month being August, um, I will be down in Sanford at a show. All right, we're just going to clean this one up. This is pretty much done, but... like to get as many hammer marks out as I can just kind of make it pretty I don't mind it looking hammered right I don't want it to look man manufactured because it is far from being manufactured um, but I want it to be I got a nice red heat on that huh and I'm just kind of going from square back to round I've already got when you do it you go to from square to octagon you take the edges down and once you're kind of the gun, I just kind of twirl it in my fingers and whack on it a while so it kind of gets all the little edges off so it's nice and pretty and clean. Get some of that anvil dust off of there. All right, so we'll come back here on this next beat and we'll put us a little loopy loop in there. So if you can see, never didn't know how to put my hand on here because my, my optics change. Hopefully you can see that. So what we're going to create, let me see, this might be an easy way to do it. Man, it's getting dark in here. I'm going to have to turn my light on. Let me get me a piece of paper here and a pencil. Ooh, I got a pen. That's even better. I'm going to do a little live drawing since you can't see the top of my, I have to draw it on my anvil, but you couldn't see it. All right, so what we're going to do is this will be our stem, right? It's kind of like stick man, right? And then we're going to have a little loop. It's going to go like this, okay? So if you look at the top, we're going to have a little loop. And it'll go like this. All right, so like a little U. Can you see that? Okay, it's going to have like a little U. And then here to where the there's a non-loop, this big dot there, that'll be where it goes straight down, sticking the ground. Okay, so that's, how, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking for. That's the design we're going after. 
I'm sure we'll probably do something else to it. Maybe throw a twist in there. But who doesn't like a good twist? I don't know. Many people don't like a good twist. I'm sure there's some. It's like I imagine there's probably somebody out there that doesn't like tomatoes. I don't know who that person would be. I'm not sure I really want to associate with that type. But, woo, dog, is this hot, hot, hot. All right, so I'm gonna get my fancy dancy scrolling tongs, and we'll do one with scrolling tongs, and we'll do one without it, and we'll just see the difference. See how they look. What do you think? Can we try, try a spear them in? I mean, what y'all got to do at anyway, right? All right, so we're gonna go 90 on the spear mint side, and then knock our little loop down. So I just want a little big loop. Okay. Just a little bit of loop. Boom. How about that? That took no time whatsoever, did it? Uh-oh. I hear stuff dropping. That's the thing about a about a tin roof. Alright, so we got us a nice little loop, see? Cleaned it up a little bit so you can see. And now we'll try one with scrolling tongs. And I'll bet you the one without scrolling tongs, the first one I just did, I bet it'll look nicer. But you never know. I could be wrong. Knock a little damble dust off of it. I don't know about it looking nicer, but it, look, it definitely looks different. So there. There's the other one. I agree, TJ. <laughs> there ought to be. Yeah. All right. So there's our two. I never can. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. All right. So the one, the big one, is the one with the scrolling tongs. There. How about that? And the little bitty one is without scrolling tongs. So you be the judge. I like the little bitty one myself, but heck, what do I know? Different strokes for different folks. And if you're going to eat Mater sandwiches, you can only eat it with dupes. Don't be using none of that Miracle Whip stuff, okay? That ain't mayonnaise. I don't know what that is. That ain't food. That ain't food. So don't even, don't even come at me with that. You're just wrong. Might as well not just put, just put mayonnaise on it. I guess you could go with Hellman's. But Dukes is the correct answer. For major sandwiches, you got to use Dukes. All right, so now we got to get our our loop, right? Our little U. We're gonna call it U, and we're gonna want our loop that we just made on the outside. Okay, so as we do this, we're gonna as we start to do our bend, we're gonna want our loop up. Okay, so that way it'll make sure uh, we will make sure it's on the outside of the U. That's how I remember it. Because a lot of this stuff is just sometimes to me seems backwards. When I was starting out it was just seemed kind of awkward and just didn't didn't make it, I don't know, it just didn't wasn't working right. So I have to kind of trick my mind at times. Draw myself a picture. Well, if you, TJ, if you can't find you any dupes, you message me and I will mail you some. <laughs> because there's no point in having tomato sandwiches if you ain't got dupes. It just, it, you know, well, I, I, I guess, you know, it's better than not having a tomato sandwich. Um, except it, unless you're going to have to eat Miracle Whip on it. And then it's just, just no. Just, just, just don't eat, any, just leave that off. Just have tomato. But dupes, dupes is, that's, that's, that's the correct answer. That is the correct answer. But I'm sure you've got to have, they got everything else out there in California. Surely they've got to have some dukes out there somewhere. You could probably get some from Bezo. 
get everything else from him, right? Except my stuff. You can't get my stuff from me. I'm not there. No thank you. All right, so we will use the horn of the anvil. You know, I like to always try to keep it easy, but we're gonna we're gonna use the horn of the anvil here. And we're just gonna kind of work ourselves on around. You know, I guess technically you could probably break out old coat hanger or something like that with a pair of needle nose. If you happen to have a little I mean, neither, you wouldn't even need to heat the heat the that stuff up. I mean it's just spring steel anyway. Alright, so we got us a nice little nice little loop there. Yep, I guess you could. Alright, and then what we want to do is when we get done, is we're gonna to want to put a bend in right about even with the loop. Right about here. Right? So we're gonna bend it down to about 90 degrees. Okay. So that's what we're going for. See, so that's pretty simple. And you'll 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 see what we're going. You'll see where we're going with it. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. Got our loop. A little bit closer, not too much, because you're gonna want, because the bottom of your glass is gonna fit. Whoa, can't even see that. Bottom of the glass is gonna fit right in here, right? So it's gonna sit in here, and then your stem's gonna stick down this way. Okay, so you wanna wanna make sure that you've got enough room here that the glass fits in there pretty comforting. If it's too small, your glass is gonna kind of be wobbly. Nothing worse than a wobbly glass of adult beverages, so I'm told, right? All right, so now we're gonna do our 90, right? So we got our glass placement in there. And then we need to think about, if we wanna add any kind of decoration or whatnot to it. And I think probably we'll just kind of drive on with it, put a little uh, points on the end. There's a lot you can do. We'll just kind of keep these simple. And I need to get that heat a little higher up. Just a little higher up than that. Sticky, sticky. I really thought we were going to end up getting a, little, getting a few raindrops out of that. But I don't reckon so. Alright. So go about where the about where the loop is. And we're just going to go down 90. In full disclosure, I like to go a little bit more than 90. Not much. Just a little bit. Because that way... The glass will fit down in there good, okay? That's just kind of my thought there. It's been my experience, okay? It has been my experience. It's one thing good about when you do stuff like this, you can kind of go by trial, and you can go, you know what? It would work better if I did X, Y, Z. There we go. I like that. I like it a lot. I love that sound. All right, so we got that one made, and we're going to stick it in the other way to put our point in. And I got hickory nuts that are falling, if you can't tell. And it uh, it drives me nuts. Ha, 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 ha. Um, no pun intended, right? It, uh, it gets really loud down here during the mast year. We had a mast year a couple, a couple years back, and um, I couldn't even be down here. It was pretty bad. Alright, so once again, we just got just a little bit of a downward angle. Alright, we gotta get a little bit of a downward angle. 
bad boondock sinks reference there. Um, so I don't want much, right? I just want enough to where the glass will fit in there and I don't have to worry about it falling out the opening. Alright, because, you know, that would not be good. And we'll just kind of clean up our forge scale a little bit. And once again, you know, you can always just treat them however you want to. Um, paint them different kind of colors. Maybe, you know, whatever you want. Throw you some different color rust oleum on there. You know, or you just leave them black. Let them rust a little bit. We ain't getting nothing on it. Woo! Mercy, goodness gracious. Need to get me one of them John McEnroe's, right? <laughs> just do the big old uh, headband. Thank you, TJ. Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. It's good to see you. Glad you're doing well. And I'm serious about that, about that Dukes now. You know, I'll hook you up. Okay. Tell everybody I said, hey. But as we're working on the other end, we're just basically putting a point in. Because that's the end that's here. Pop it right on down in the ground. And that's pretty much the gist of it. All right. That's the deal. And we just get some, so we're going from round to square. We don't need much of a point, right? Because we're not like doing a loop or nothing like that. We just want it to be enough of a point to get it down in the ground. So we probably do enough of a heat. And then we'll go back with the next one and round it off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be it. I'm just going back and forth, 90. And whatever you do to the top, you're doing to the bottom. See? Boom. Can you tell? See where I've got it kind of squared off? Because whatever you're hitting on the top, you're also hitting on the bottom. Because the uh, damn. it off music to my ears. I'm digging that. All right, see, so now we got it all nice and round. Yep. Promise it's not wonky. It's just me, me twisting. All right, so they'll stick down in the ground like so. Wish I had a wine glass down here. Of course, I'm at the Smithy, so I don't have a wine glass down here. But as you're sitting down, right, you got it stuck down in the ground, and your glass of wine will just fit right in there. Boom, boom. And you have yourself a wine glass. I will post these if you want one. These are great. Like I said, if you drink a lot of beverages out of a wine type glass, could be a chalice, right? I like chalice myself. Cool that off because it was getting hot. And we'll round this one up and we'll be done here for the day and I'll get back to work and you'll get back to work and 
everybody will be happy. Don't forget, if you're watching, and it happens to not be live, it would do me a great benefit if you just hit that like button because it makes a big difference. Hey, Miss Sage, how are you doing? <laughs> See, exactly, right? You got to have, you know, yes. Got to have it for the chalice. Chalice just sounds so much better than wine glass, doesn't it? I mean, just, you know, anybody can drink out of a wine glass, but hey, you know, I'm drinking out of a chalice. You know, you put Kool-Aid in there, who cares? It's a chalice. Well, I guess you could call it a grail, but, you know, that sounds a little hoity. <laughs> it's just, just, I mean, I think chalice is enough. I think chalice is enough. Mercy me. And this, my friends, is why I don't have classes in the summertime. Because it is bloody hot. And I'm not over a fire, I'm over a forge. Alright, so I just was running my mouth as I was doing the other one, so I'm just kind of cleaning her up. Alright, so there we go. We have two freshly smithed chalice holders. cool that off before I grab it and you'll smell leather burning it most likely will not be my gloves all right so they're both about the same so here we go I'm gonna move up front so you can see see so we got that and they'll stick down in the ground beside your chair whether it's these work both equally for left and right-handed people just so you know um because you can have it this way or this way so they're app, uh, appendextrous is that the right word i don't know anyway so there you go so that's how you make uh, chalice holders for your campfire chair and you don't have to worry about them turning over spilling or any of that other stuff so there you go um yes they are much more decorative i agree <laughs> of course i'm prejudiced right um appreciate you stopping by don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to share um follow the page if you don't um go jump over to my website and sign up for your free membership that way you'll get notification of the blogs that i write and uh i appreciate you stopping by and um sharing with others so uh like i said this is how i feed my family so this is great i thank you for stopping by and joining me and uh, giving me some company so have a great day and uh we will see you um next time. Bye y'all.